Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Tro. I am Crypto Tro, bringing you the latest and the greatest in cryptocurrencies for beginners. And today, man, we're going to talk about one of my favorite layer one blockchains. If you don't know, now you know Harmony One, man, has been doing some tremendous things. And I believe it's one of the top layer one blockchains out there with the cheapest fees and the fastest transaction speeds. And today, I'm just going to give a little update on the upcoming trustless Bitcoin bridge. We already know that's something major moving forward. We know a lot of old money in crypto started off, of course, in Bitcoin, but now they are trying to find ways to venture into the DeFi sector, play to earn NFTs, everything crypto, man. So this Bitcoin trustless bridge will be a major thing coming forward. And also, I'm going to go over the Harmony roadmap and just a little comparison amongst other chains as far as the transaction. So we're going to talk about that today. We're going to get straight into that. But before we do, man, make sure you follow me on twitter right now this is where you know twitter or if youtube my five youtube was to ever get shut down or anything like that you can hit me up on twitter and this is where i will place my content and also like this video and subscribe i have multiple videos showing you different things in the crypto space i show you how to buy nfts i show you how to get involved in different casinos on uh crypto casinos on this channel, I show you how to make liquidity pools, everything in the NFT or the crypto space, everything in the crypto space. I'm pretty much giving play by play handbook on how you can get involved in these things. So that's something you might want to check out as well. And also, I got to say this. This is not financial advice, man. This is just my personal opinion on things. And I'm really just showing my journey, blogging my journey as I invest in the crypto space. If you want to invest in the same things that I invest in, that's cool, but I'm not telling you to do so. Always do your own research, no matter who you watch on YouTube, no matter if they made a million dollars or a billion dollars. Trust me, people are going to pump their own bags, man. So always, always do your research. I don't care if you're listening to me, man. Do your own research every single time, man. So I had to get that spiel. Let's get straight into it. Harmony 1. Let's go. Harmony One, man. So we're currently on Coin Market Cap, and we're looking at Harmony One's price right now. We see right now it's at twenty nine cents on a day, down a little bit on a day, man. But I'm not complaining. That's really a good entry price for a deal. We already know. Just overall, the crypto market is in a slight dip right now, but that's cool. We just, you know, take advantage of those dips, and you know accumulate more tokens but we see right now harmony one is ranked 46 out of the top 100 and it's staying in between that 50 to 40 range right now but i believe it's going to continue to move up as we see more and more projects build on the harmony ones blockchain and also lock so much value on the chain as well so right now we see the market cap is at 3.3 billion dollars and the fully diluted market cap is at 3.9 billion then we see the volume is at 134 million dollars down 50 percent on the day so the volume is down on the day but like i said earlier we are in a crypto market dip man we we see i want to call it just a bear market right now but it's just one of those dips you know how the crypto space is it's you never can call it but i know what you can call and it's when you want to buy more cryptos not financial advice but I'm just saying that's the perfect time. A lot of people complain about the prices when it's high, but then when it's low, they don't want to go in and like make it make sense to me, man. I don't understand it, but I, I, I'm i not a, a psychologist, you know, or therapist or whatever. <laughs> so something else, man, we see on DeFi Llama, these are all of the blockchains with the total value lock. So we see, of course, ETH is dominating, man. Look at those protocols. They have 413 protocols with 140 billion total value lock. Sheesh. Well, we know ETH has their first movers advantage, of course, man. So I think other projects will have an opportunity to catch up, but it's still so, it's like, you know, the, the gap is so big. Uh, somebody did an analogy on Twitter 
um, and I don't want to like say the whole thing, but they like to compare like blockchains to cities. And they say like ETH was like, you know, New York, where it was so expensive for, you know, everyday people to pretty much live there or do transactions on the chain. So you really had to be one of those first movers in order to be able to even have fun conducting business on the ETH blockchain. But when we scroll down, man, we scroll down. We see Harmony 1 in 14th place right now, man. 14th place with the $1.22 billion total value lock. And we see right now it's about 39 protocols on Harmony 1. It's probably more than that, but you know it's hard to keep up with every single project that's out. But right now we see 39 protocols on there. And then we see the one minute change, man, 88%. So we're up 88% on the day just within that one minute, man. 88%. Wow, this this that's crazy. So let's check it out, man. Let's check it out. Like I said, it's $1.22 billion locked on the chain. And we see the change, the 24-hour change is less than 1%. And then we see DeFi Kingdoms is currently at 61% dominance and i really liked it because at first it was like 80 percent man so we see that percentage continue to go down and don't get me wrong like DeFi kingdoms is my favorite crypto project you know ever i want to say i mean i'm still new to crypto but it's the project that pretty much changed my perception on crypto i wanted to thrive and continue to grow but i want the blockchain itself to kind of equalize it where it's not one major dominance with a project. So one project doesn't have, you know, more than 50% dominance on the chain. So we scroll down, of course, like I said, DeFi Kingdoms is first. Then we got the multi-chain. Then coming in and third is Tranquil. And then we can scroll down, just see the different projects on Harmony One as of right now. And I believe it's still more room to grow as we see more games come to Harmony One. Like Harmony One is the blockchain for games just because of the low transaction fees and the speeds and although we do have some rpc problems they are working on that as we speak and i feel like those are good problems just because those are growing problems now it will become a bad problem when you can't solve the problem later on down the road but i just want to put something in perspective real quick so man these are you know the total daily transactions amongst four different chains. So we have Phantom, we got Harmony One, we got Cosmos, and then we have the Near Protocol. So just compared to all of these other chains right now, we're just looking at Harmony. Harmony is this red line right now. And the only thing, Harmony doesn't have data after the 8th of 2022 according to this chart. So this chart is a couple of days old, really like a week old, but it just gives us some perspective, man. So we see right now, Harmony is pretty much in second place when it comes to transactions on the chain. We see how Atom is pretty much hitting over like 10 million transactions or, you know, that 5 to 10 million transaction range a day. But we see Harmony hitting that 1 to 4 million transactions a day, man. And you got to understand when it's a new blockchain and handling that many transactions, you're going to have some problems just because it's going to be some spam transactions, man. And those transactions will boggle down the network and pretty much make it very, very slow. But like I said, it's a growing problem. And I like to see that Harmony is able to handle these transactions, especially compared to, you know, some other or some of the other top chains out there. And of course, the transactions are pretty much coming from DeFi Kingdoms. It is a lot of transactions in the game, but that's a part of growing the blockchain. And if we plan on Harmony being the gang fire or you know, to play to earn chain, then we should expect to see even more transactions, especially with all of the upcoming roadmaps for DeFi Kingdoms, man. So that's going to be very, very bullish in my eyes. And I just wanted to show this chart compared to some of the top layer one chains and see how Harmony is handling all of these transactions. And also we can go to the Explorer. Like one thing I don't, I don't like about the Explorer though, it's kind of like outdated. So you really can't see the specific dates. But when we come over here, we see this transaction date. We come over here, we go to the latest date. So we can see on the 15th or five days ago, Harmony was handling about 2.2 million transactions on the blockchain. So I'm gonna say it's averaging at least 1 million transactions a day, man. And this is a blockchain that's fairly, new as far as 
having dApps on there or having dApps with a lot of transactions on there. So that's major in my eyes, seeing that growth and seeing that Harmony is pretty much trying to solve these problems as far as RPC, but not only that, they are handling the growth as well. So that's another bullish thing for me as far as Harmony. And then when we come over to look at the wallets, man, we see the wallets just continue to grow, man. So last year on the 26th, we were at over half a million wallets. And I hate, like I said, the, the Explorer, uh, Harmony's Explorer is so outdated, man. Like, <laughs> it don't show me like, this month's wallets but as you can see with those bars with those bars you can see the growth man i don't know the exact number but we know that the bars are higher so we have a another new all-time high for wallets man so the chain just continues to grow more and more people continue to come to the blockchain and it's just an exciting time to be in the harmony ecosystem man so Last but not least, like I said, the Harmony Trustless Bitcoin Bridge, man. So after ETH and Binance Smart Chain and multiple other DEXs, Harmony is set to launch its awaited trustless BTC bridge for seamless asset migration. To strengthen the bridge security, we are offering community members to participate and earn incentives. Here's how. So two. Vaults are the key components of the bridge that act as custodians of user Bitcoins to facilitate issuing of their HRC20 wrapped Bitcoins. Vaults would need to have locked collateral to secure the bridge for which they will receive the bridge fee paid by the users. While there is no limit on the amount of initial collateral in one, vaults are expected to maintain at least a collateral ratio of 150 in terms of the dollar amount. The vaults are generously incentivize as they collect bridge fees and staking rewards for the lock collateral each vault comes with a vault dashboard and a pool of automated tools to manage all notifications and activity with harmony protocol you can set up your own bridge vault and start earning rewards in no time so you can actually start earning your bitcoin bridge rewards just by you know tapping in and i'm not gonna go into detail with that you can click on it follow harmony one on twitter if you want to and you know if you're interested in earning rewards for the bitcoin bridge this is how you go about it and i'm very excited to actually see that the bitcoin bridge is coming soon man and that leads me to my last slide the upcoming development in harmony one so the harmony one roadmap we see the first thing on the roadmap is the Bitcoin bridge. And according to the legend down here at the bottom right, where we can see live on mainnet, live on testnet, live on devnet, et cetera, we see how the Bitcoin bridge is currently live on testnet. So we can expect that no later than February the 7th. And then we got the trust, trustless ETH bridge. So we already had the ETH bridge, but it wasn't the trustless ETH bridge. So we can expect that, man, no later than February 14, 2022. Then we got the streaming sync and fast sync, and that started on the 30th, and that's currently live on testnet. And we can see just all of the different things Harmony has upcoming. I'm not going to go through every single one of them. I might make a video for the roadmap, but you can just see, man, all of these exciting things Harmony has upcoming and all of these bridges and pretty much just connecting all of the different chains so we can be able to maneuver amongst projects easy man so i'm very excited to see what harmony has in store and if they will be able to actually go through with this entire roadmap so all in all man i'm super bullish on harmony one it's like I said, it's one of my favorite layer one blockchains. And I believe it still has so much more potential to grow. But only time will tell. You know, I like to have a level mind. So if they can't fix their RPC issues, then I believe they might have a problem in the long run. But I feel like that's the only, you know, really major problem that will stop people from truly onboarding to the Harmony One blockchain because before the RPC issues, it was fast and it was, you know, less than a penny. So like I said, when they fix their problem, if they fix their problem, Harmony One will be one of the top layer one blockchains coming up. So that's my video for today. 
If you haven't already liked this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. Also, follow me on Twitter, tro underscore crypto. That's my video for today. I'm out of here.